There we go. <clears throat> Gotta have that on when I do my sound checks. What's up, gang? I see me. I'm gonna I'm gonna hang here till I can hear me, and then I'm gonna switch over, man. But uh, sound check time is going. Sweet. I don't hear an echo. I'm kind of stoked about that. Good to see you guys, man. Thanks for hanging out on a nice little wind Wednesday hump day, coming close to the holiday. I'm stoked to be here, man. It's good to hang with you guys. Ah, <sighs> already we got Joe out here and Crazy Dad, Caroline, Greg. What's up, Polecat? Crazy Dad and Jed's head, and that's funny, man. There's a Jed shed. I don't know. What's up, Aurora and Stump Man? Good to see you guys in here, man. Thanks for joining. Um, hey, let you know what's up here, guys. Uh, I'm gonna talk about the packs plus and mini here all day better part of an hour um and then uh i'm also going to compare it to uh some other vapes and then we're going to give away a couple more uh pot vapes at the end you guys know how i like to play that game so stick around listen up pay attention and then go home with a vape today man it'll be a lot of fun so <clears throat> anyhow i just thank you guys for jumping in man gardener z puffs already out nice healthy stoner in the house what's up bud wyo hunter and vape that herb Good to see you guys, man. Thanks a lot. Uh, anyhow, let me tell you what's up, man. Um, for those of you who don't know me, uh, I'm Jerry. Uh, been working with Planet of Apes for years, cultivating the, uh, or how would, what's the best word for that? Uh, there's, um, oh, I almost had it. I almost had it. Anyhow, building the catalog and uh, testing vapes and writing content. And uh, before that, I was, I was working, uh, I was moderating a, a vaporizer forum. Uh, but before that, really, um, I used to smoke just like most people. Uh, I would I would smoke. Uh, eh, actually, it was, it was early two thousands. I started I started smoking again, and when I realized that I was gonna I was gonna do that regularly, I didn't I didn't want to do the damage to my lungs that I knew smoking would do. Um, I'd had some smokers in the family and seen what that had done to their lungs, and I didn't I didn't want that for myself. So I was like, uh, I don't know how I got. You know what? I heard about it from, from, uh, it was in November of 07. Uh, I was going to get some herb and the guy there had a volcano, a classic volcano. And I, and I took a hit off that and was like, that's what I want to do. That's for me. I'm not into smoking. And so I spent about three months researching. I don't know why I spent that long. There were only seven or eight vapes at the time, but I did cause there were so much money, man. I ended up spending 300 bucks on an extreme, but, uh, there was the volcano that some other weird vapes, uh, not a lot to choose from the silver surfer, which I did get later. That probably would have been a good first vape for me. Uh, but at the end of the day, um, as soon as, and I didn't know this was coming. I just, I just, I just started vaporizing cause I didn't want to do the, the damage to my lungs that smoking would, I mean, vaporizing not the same as breathing normal air. I'm sure it's doing something, but over the years, my, my lungs feel better than when I started vaporizing. So I'm not sure what that says, but anyhow, I just went in it because I, I wanted I wanted clean going into my lungs instead of all that smoke. I didn't know I was gonna save a lot of money. I ended up using about half as much dry herb as I used to, so um, my savings were cut in half immediately. It was it was crazy, and that, and then I was sold. I was like, holy cow, I can save money and it's better for me. I'm in. I started uh, reviewing them online and uh, starting telling people about them, and so anyhow, that's kind of how I got started in this whole thing. I was a smoker just like everybody else. <laughs> What's up, guys? These guys, these guys are awesome, man. I'm watching you on the chat, too. So anyhow, uh, but since then, uh, I've been reviewing vapes and um, uh, uh, talking about vapes every Friday night with uh, Troy from 420 Vape Zone on our uh, Think Tank on YouTube. And uh, I continue to test vapes. I've had a great time testing these two packs vaporizers here. Um, I do that for Planet of the Vapes, and uh, I enjoy doing that. It's a good place to buy your vape. Got great customer service reputation. Uh, you don't have to take my word for it. You can go look at Trustpilot and see what thousands of customers have said, but it's a high rating and uh, you can ask online. There's all kinds of people who tell you the customer service is great. I know the vapes are great because I test them and we don't put junk up there. Um, but uh, you get gift cards when you buy stuff and bonus items, usually a tight back uh, uh, herb container, which is great. One of these things, these things are dope. Hold some herbs, a little vacuum seal. I use them all the time. So usually what I travel with when I run around, when I want a smaller, I mean, most of my herbs are in these things, but when I want to travel, I, I pack them into these little things and they're awesome. So anyhow, they come with that. And then of course you got that um, satisfaction guarantee I've told you about before, which I love. It's a safe place to buy a vape. 
you don't have to worry about, you know, if you're gonna get stuck with a dud, not gonna happen at Planet of the Vapes. And um, same day shipping if you get your orders in by one o'clock my time, New York time. So anyhow, it's a great place to buy a vape and good vapes. So anyhow, they've been they've been selling vapes about as long as I've been vaping. And uh, now we're gonna break into the to the packs for them. I love it, man. I love I love doing this. Anyhow, let's get into it. Um, I'm going to start with the PAX Plus. I'm going to kind of sort of do an unboxing, although I, all I did was just put the stuff back in the box because I beat these up quite a bit. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of unbox them a little bit here for you. Hang on a second. You know me and my tea. Mm. By the way, um, if you have questions, throw them in the chat if you're watching this live. If you're watching it later, you could probably put it in the comments. We monitor this stuff and, and try to try to answer. But um, in the chat, just um, hit at Planet of the Vapes. Big yellow box shows up and I see it. And then it'll stand out. So anyhow, um, that's what uh, th that's that's the rules of the road here. That's how to get into that. So uh, first thing I want to do is I want to open up the PAX Plus for you. This is the first one I started with. I started with the PAX Plus because... Uh, I've got PAX 2 and PAX 3 here, and the PAX 3 is the one I grab, because I do like one of the, um, is it still, hang on a second, I forgot about this. Because I'm one of those that uses the smartphone app. Uh, and... So I like the PAX uh, 3, I usually dial it into efficiency mode and chill that when I use that. And I'll use that for, if I'm going to chill in front of a TV show for a while, or if I'm going to um, go out and share with people in a, in a small group and don't want to explain it. Uh, and when I use it more often is, is when I go to bed, like for a nightcap. So um, the PAX 3, I like, I use the, um, the smartphone app with it. And that's why I have this Android phone. I'm now on on iPhone. Let me see, let's get this out of my pocket. Zone, brother. I'm, I'm Apple everything now. <laughs> but I still have my Pixel 4 so I can connect to all my vapes. So uh, anyhow, if I have to test vapes or, or if I'm going to use a vape that has Bluetooth, this thing still rocks. I've got all the apps on there. So I'll show you a little bit of that later. That's why I went and grabbed it. <clears throat> but um, so, so that's why I started with the PAX Plus because the PAX 3 is in my wheelhouse regularly as far as I, I, I use that enough to, to know what I'm getting into. So I was like, cool, I want to uh, compare it to the PAX Plus. And the PAX Plus, you know, you got this uh, sleeve here, tells you a little bit about the vape, picture of the vape, the box. The box is brown and opens up like a so. And then I think I put these back in the right place. A little quick start guide here for you, which is pretty cool. Uh, it goes over the anatomy, the device anatomy and all the parts, which I'll show you. And then um, how to go through a first session. And then the experience modes. And those are the four different, I call them heat modes or temperature modes. Experience modes is actually a real nice name for them. It's a little longer than I want to use for something regularly, but that'll work. And I'll talk more about those. So this is this is pretty much all you need to get rolling because it's it's, it's a pretty simple device to use. Um, the, the, PAX, uh, the PAX Plus doesn't do Bluetooth, no app, none of none of this stuff. So if you, uh, if you don't like to two-hand vape, I'm not a fan of it then you'll you'll appreciate the changes that have been made here um then when you uh if you pull the vape out of this side here well the, on, on the bottom is more instructions they were they were buried under here but the reason they were under here is i think they're the um there's in french it's more of the the safety junk you know like don't use it in don't don't use it in water, you know that kind of stuff. All this stuff. So that's underneath here. You don't even really need it, but it's in there. And then there is the actual uh, vape itself. And if you know anything about Pax vaporizers, you'll go, wait, is that different? And I'll go, nope. Here it is next to a Pax three. Can you tell the difference? Uh -uh. Uh, when you turn it on, the lights are a little different. But we'll get into that in a minute. I want to finish up uh, showing you what's in the box here. Um, let's see. I guess I'll already get started on this. So my little, I got this camera ready for you guys so we can get up close with some of this stuff. I got a lot of stuff to show you today. Do, do, do. Let's see here. We're going to uh, go to here. And uh, underneath this, 
Um, there was a box here. Uh, I threw it away, but this is what was in the box is the raised mouthpiece, um, which is kind of nice to share with. Um, I'll get into that later. Uh, a cup, uh, several um, little O-rings here, the little red O-rings. There's several of these that are for the concentrate lid, which I'll show you in just a second. And then this cleaning brush, which, man, do I like this cleaning brush. I mean, they used to give us um, some scratchy uh, pipe cleaners and they did the job, but they're disposable. And then what? You got to go buy some more or something. So this is a, this brush is perfect size. Don't lose this brush. It's great to clean with. Uh, in here is the charger. I'll show you the little boxes come apart like that. Yeah. They got these little pull tabs that help you pull the box out of the main box. Oh, look at that. Plastic. I've already opened this, like I said. And then there's the charger. Chargers are, are, these chargers are nice. I just don't like proprietary chargers because when you lose it, you're, you're kind of screwed. But it magnetically connects. So it just goes boom and it's in place. And you could, you could set it like this, but it's made to kind of set on, on the desk like that. It's pretty nice. And it, like I said, it's, it's magnetically connected. So you, you put it on there and it'll, it'll guide itself into place. And then once it starts to charge, these lights will come on. And when it's fully charged, all four white ones will light up. So uh, it's easy to tell if it's charging those lights come on. Anyhow, USB-A goes into any USB port. That's all what's going on over here. Um, then we have over here, we have the packing tool, the multi-tool, which is mostly used for packing the oven. You ram it in there with that. You can scrape out with this and I'll show you how to remove the screen with it as well. And then um, over here, we have the concentrate insert, which is pretty interesting. Uh, let me show you this. There, there's one side has a little fingernail divot right there. There you go. You can see it right there. You basically grab it like that, pull it out, and booyah, that's what's inside. Now, you see that circle in the middle there, that kind of kind of circle there? That's the bullseye. Put your concentrate there. Put it in the middle, nice in the middle so it's not touching any walls. That's about how much you want, not much more than that. I usually, that's about the size. So that's a nice little 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 target to show you the size and where to put it. I kind of dig that. And um, then you put the lid back on. Bingo. This thing here actually slides out to clean. All right. And if you um, if you don't clean it often enough, or if you overpack this, your concentrate can run out, get down here, glue it together, and that's where most of them break. So. Try not to overload or that's what you risk is gluing this stuff together. Anyhow, once you've loaded your concentrate, the packs here has a little magnet that the, uh, you just push on one side of the oven lid and it pops out and there's your oven. And then this puppy would go in like that. Boom, that's all you gotta do. There's a little bit of a gap here because if you didn't have that gap, there'd be no airflow. You gotta have that. So that's how the air will get in to bring the vapor up to the other end. So don't worry about that gap. That's supposed to be there. It's still magnetically held on, but that gap is fine. You got to have that gap. Uh, and then we also have uh, down in here the half pack lid, which I appreciate a lot. This is a big honking oven. Look how deep that thing is. It holds uh, more than a half gram. I think I got uh, 0.54 grams in there on the way I like to pack it very easily. And this is the half pack oven that now you only have to pack half of it and this will take up the extra space. You could just pack it real tightly and then put the normal oven on, but this will take up the space and, and kind of make it a more efficient cook and then it won't flop around. And I use that all the time because if you use this by yourself, you might not need that monster oven. I do like the monster oven though for myself. It's pretty nice. So anyhow, uh, that was in here and then extra screens and these screens are interesting. I'll show you these screens. And actually, let me do a better job of showing you these. I kept my tweezers out just so I could do this a little better. Let's see here. Let's see if that works. So here's a screen. And that is the part that you look at or the top part of the screen. You can see it's kind of cupped there. It's like a little bit of a cup. It's like a dish with cupped edges. And so where the old packs would um, sit in the oven with those four little 
let me get to where you can see this. There's four little feet right there. It would sit on the oven and elevate the whole screen a little bit. That's what it looked like from above. Now, it's like this, where instead of lifting off the oven bottom, it sits on the oven bottom and directs the airflow around the sides like that. So technically it might hold a little more, but we're talking nothing, so I'm not going to go there. Anyhow, you got extra screens. Pretty cool. Nice little airflow holes in there. So uh, you're going to have a little better, better airflow, a little less clogging, uh, not as much maintenance, and the screens are easier to pop out. Let me show you that real quick because that's pretty nice too. Um, do I need any of this for today? No. Um, oh, yeah, I said I was going to show you the raised mouthpiece. Because when you hit the packs, you see that little slit right there? That's where you put your mouth. So it kind of goes like this. Got to look up in the, in the corner here. So your mouth goes right here. And that edge goes in your lips. Which is how I like to use it. It's a nice low pri profile, easy hit. It's not my favorite way to share because then everybody's got their lips all over the side of my packs and stuff like that. So this raised mouthpiece can go in instead. And it's a little, I like it a little better on the sharing side because basically when you put this one in, now everybody's going to put their lips up here and I'll go home and take it out <laughs> and put my mouthpiece in. So anyhow, the other side's kind of neat. See the vapor path right there? That's the stainless steel tube inside. So the vapor, when you heat this thing up, starts in here. And when you hit it, it pulls up that tube through here and comes up out here. And when it does that, it hits whichever side dimple and flows right to the slit. And there you go. So you put that back on and that's where you, where you hit it. Uh, what I wanted to show you up close with the oven is if you if you take this new tool here and you just watch it not work when I'm on camera, but anyhow, you pop it on the, can you see, you put it on the corner of the screen and it pops up. Yeah, I figured it would give me a hard time while I'm here. Did it pop up? Well, that's how it works is when you get on the screen, because I've been using it a buttload. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Well, there you go. It's popped out every time until I got right here. So you know what you do in that case? You take this out. You go get that magic brush I showed you. Plop it in there. Pop that puppy out. So why didn't that come out? Well, I'm a little dirty underneath. It's time to clean this thing. You can see down my vapor path there. You can kind of see all the gunk in the tube. There you go. Now you can see the gunk in the tube. You see I got a bunch of junk in the oven walls there. It's time to clean this. That's good because we're going to do a cleaning article and it's perfect timing. And where I pushed down on here, I don't know if you can see that little goop. The little goop was stuck on there real well. And that was kind of gluing it in. So that's awesome. That means that it was time to replace that sucker. Um, and that's why we have the extra ones here. And you can just they just drop in. And there's little... Um, wings on them that they kind of pop into place but anyhow that should work not gonna not gonna fall out and then let's see now this time when i push up on the edge here let me on it did it pop out that time yeah there you go see now it's popped up shit it's popped up there and now it just falls right out so if your screen's not totally gunked up it's easy to remove and if it is this thing will do the trick real quick here is pop it out Anyhow, that's awesome. I'm going to put the dirty one back in because it's time to clean this for our cleaning guide. And this is the perfect condition for it. I like to show you beat up vapes when we clean them. And then I will throw the full normal lid on and then put this one on right here. And boom, that's all the goodies. That's all the goodies. I love to use this, by the way, this packing tool here. You know, it fits on your keychain like that. And then when it's time to pack the oven, I like to use the loading funnel. Eh, here we are. Our loading funnels are a different color. This is pretty wild, but you drop the herbs in there and then I just mash this sucker down and go to town on it. So pretty easy.
All right, let's get back to me. <laughs> Put this over here. That's the that's the tour, a little unboxing tour, so to speak. And uh, yeah, that'll get you through the box. Let me put some of this stuff back real quick or I will lose it. I'm real good at that. Um, and then I'll show you the, the, it comes with the half pack lid. That is dope. I use that all the time. The half pack lid uh, I use regularly. And then it comes with this packing multi-tool, which works real well. This is uh, an extra third party thing. It's only like $6.50. Get yourself this. And in these two, I use them together every time. It was it was fantastic using those. It was a that was a good combo. Um, let's see, and then I'll put that back in here, and I'll leave the vape out. But let me tell you about the packs plus itself. That's all the little doodahs and what's in the box. But actually using the doggone thing, it's pretty cool. The oven on the bottom, like I showed you, is magnetic. -y. You got to push on the end, otherwise you wouldn't. It doesn't just. There's nothing to grab it. So it's kind of like a if you know, you know, and then. The top has a little dimple right there, and that's the button to turn it on. The button's underneath, but that dimple matches it perfectly. So you just you just push that little button, and it comes on, and it goes right into heating. You push it again to turn it off. Um, it's got four experience modes, is what they call them. And they're pretty dope, the way they built them. They're the same um, modes they have on the PAX 3 in the app, as far as they've got stealth, efficiency, flavor, and boost. And on the on the PAX 3, you'd, you'd go into your app and pick them and mess with them and do all, and it was, it was a, lot of, a lot of fiddling. Uh, I did find my sweet spot, and once I found it, I just left it there, but it took, took a while. What, what PAX has done here is taken all of, the, all of the clutter out of the way so that you can vape four very distinct styles without an app, without much for settings, uh, pretty easy to do, and, and put it at everybody's fingertips. Because when they first came out with those things, uh, A, they were buried in the settings, and then B, Apple blew the settings out of the water by banning apps. So this is a better solution, I think, for everybody. What you really want is on here, and instead of having to dive into the settings and tweak things, and do three or four sessions one way and three or four another and, and, and kind of, oh, I like this. They've pretty much figured out the four main ones that people play with. And that's what they've got. They are very different. And I really like the different experience modes. Polecat asked me, do I pack it tightly? Um, yeah. When I first started using the packs years ago, I came to it from a convection perspective. So I would pack it loosely because I liked to take long, slow draws. And when you pack it tightly, that's just a little more work than I want. So I liked the, the, the less lower restriction when I packed it loosely. But that was because I was trying to make this thing do something it really wasn't made to do. I can do that. Um, it works fine. But it turns out the way I really like to use it is packing it tightly. When you pack it tightly, you get stronger, more intense flavors and thicker vapor because there's more herb in there. It's pretty simple. Um, it turns out with this one, it's got enough restriction to where you don't have a huge difference between light and, 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 and tight. You'll, you'll notice it, but it's not monstrous. It's not like a different vape or anything. So yeah, I do pack it tightly and I like to take little sips. Sometimes I'll take long drags. It's nice. It lets me pick, pick the way I want to do it. And I'll talk about that in a minute too. But first, uh, thanks for asking. First, I want to tell you about these experience modes. You, you access them just like you did before on any of the packs when you're changing temperatures. There's no more change in temperatures here. You don't get to pick the temperature anymore. You're not going to pick, you know, 380 or 410 or 398 or whatever weird number we used to with the pack three. It's already built in. You just pick a lane. You pick it. You literally, you're getting on the highway and you're going to pick a lane. It's four lane highway. You turn it on. Then you push the button in and hold it in. And now you can pick, I'm on lane three. That's four. There's one, two, three, and four. Three is pretty close to what I used to do. And then you can either, I uh, usually just shake it and it goes right back to, and now it's, now it's heating up. Anyhow, uh, I'm just going to read you uh, my notes from testing about these four different experience modes. I don't want to miss any of it. And I want you to, to kind of get the differences so you understand what they've done here. You, you could have done this, all of this with the PAX 3, you just would have worked really hard to get it. And you would have gone into the settings and changed it every time to change it. Whereas on this one, you can just real quickly drill in. On, uh, let's see, experience mode one, 
Uh, the flavor, I said, was decent throughout. It started to turn at the very end. So the flavor actually lasted a bit in that one. Um, the ABV or the, the, you know, the spent herbs at the end uh, came out as a puck. And it was medium tan all the way through. Um, only the top edge was lighter. The top edge of the load is the part that you can see here. There's nothing touching that. So it's usually lighter than the rest of the pack as it, as it comes out. Uh, when I did these four temp profiles, I did them with a half pack oven packed tightly. That's my favorite way to roll. Um, real quickly, the half pack lid packed tightly. I still get um, thick uh, vapor and, and, and more intense flavor. It, uh, but I get a little more airflow because I didn't have to work its way through such a thick load. So I really enjoyed the half pack. It gave me, gave me just a little more in the airflow that I liked. So I did all four of these using that pack. Uh, on the second experience, the first one is stealth mode. On the second one, which is efficiency mode, which is what I used to use on the PAX 3 the most. I said the hits are uh, tasty and cloudy. It feels considerably higher than the um, stealth mode. Like it was, a, like there was a difference. Like it was not the same, same lane. Uh, in the last third, the taste kind of went bad. So it, the taste started to die a little sooner than on the first lane, but the, but the, uh, the clouds were still kind of thick. Um, the ABV, the, 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 the puck came out as dark as I'd ever want it. Uh, it was very dark with dark brown on the top edge. It's about as dark as I ever want. You can get darker, but I, I don't, I don't take stuff darker I mean, I don't care if it goes darker, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna work for it. So for me, that was a fully done load. Um, for the record, now I'll get to that later. Um, then on the third one, which is their flavor mode, and this made sense, and I didn't know which one was efficiency or flavor when I took these notes. I was just going, I was just calling them temp one, two, three, and four. The third one they call flavor mode, and as it turns out, my notes, uh, I said uh, I got terp burn on the first two hits, which most of you guys in the chat know what I'm talking about. For those of you that don't. Um, when you, terpenes are what, what give the herbs their flavor and those terpenes come out in the beginning of your session. So the first couple hits are always the most flavorful. And if you get a vaporizer that either can really pull a lot of those out at once in the beginning, in the first couple of them, the, there, there can be so much flavor that it, it gets a little scratchy on the throat and the back of your tongue. It's, it's, it's amazing. Um, so we call that terp burn. And all that means is, wow, that was a lot of flavor coming at you. So I actually got that on the third one on the, on this vape. Uh, I said, I got terp burn on the first two hits, not, not uncomfortable, horrible, just like, wow, that was, that was some strong taste. Uh, there was strong taste and thick vapor and started to really feel the effects. This is the, the that, that, uh, that flavor mode is where I would start if I wanted to take a nightcap. Turns out I, I, I take it higher, but this would have done because I started to really feel the effects. Uh, the taste was good through the first half now. So instead of um, uh, stealth mode where it was, it was really good for most of, almost the whole thing and efficiency about the first three quarters or first two thirds. Now we're at about only the first half really has good taste. And then after that, um, it start, the taste started to turn. I noted that it, the taste actually got kind of, kind of bunk at the end, uh, but it still had vapor. And um, the puck, the, the herbs came out very dark throughout. There was nothing left in that at all. At that point, I'm like, I'm not sure what the fourth one's going to do, but let's see. Uh, first of all, that's the one I would use for extracts. So if you're going to use that concentrate lid, use the fourth, uh, use the fourth lane or the fourth experience mode, as they call it now. Um, but then when I packed my load on the on the fourth one, uh, let's see what I said. The taste was gone after the first third. So really after about three, three hits for me. Really, it's about the first third of the session. My hits might be longer than yours, so I don't like to necessarily say how many hits. So I was trying to judge by how far into the session. Most of my sessions on this thing, I averaged seven and a half minutes. So that means I had about two minutes of really good taste. And then after that, it started to go down. I didn't get any terp burn on this one. And the session was shorter. This was my shortest session on this vape. Let me see if I can real quick tell you. Uh, that session for me... Um, Mm, where do I have that? I'm not sure I'm going to find it, which is why I, I grabbed it earlier. But anyhow, that was the, uh, that was the shortest session. I think it was like a minute or two shorter because uh, it was gone. I, I basically finished my sessions either when it quits vaporizing or when the taste has gone to the point where I don't need that. And it was usually about seven and a half minutes. This one was a couple minutes shorter. ABV, the puck came out black. Um, and uh, yeah, so it was a little darker than on three and it was quicker. So anyhow, um, 
they're they're very different. I mean, you can hear in my descriptions. It's not just oh, we're temp stepping here, and I can pick a different temp and 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 ride that out. They're it, it's using all those algorithms and watching your watching how you hit it and how strong you hit it and how long you hit it, and then it, it it's setting you on a on a on a temperature curve, but then adjusting based on how you hit so that on like stealth mode. Um, it doesn't get too hot, doesn't want a lot of clouds. I didn't see a whole lot of clouds on that. On efficiency mode, it cools down really quickly um, and then heats up really quick when you hit it. So it's doing different things to achieve different different uh, styles. And I, I think they did a great job of hitting four really different lanes. Really do. I spend most of my time on in lane one on the uh, on the stealth mode. I like that. And then at night, uh, the, the, the boost mode is great for a nightcap. Uh, the two in the middle are nice too, but... I really liked that lowest one. It was nice, uh, but the, but the but the highest one would put me to sleep. So that um, I was pretty impressed, man. I was pretty impressed because it was a lot of work to get that out of the Pax Three. Like I said, I would drill into the app, set the temp, set the mode, then go to town. Next time I want to do it, connect the vapes, drill into the app, change the temp, change the mode. Now I'm ready to go. This one, you just it's on board. You just pick that pedal, and since like, honestly, with the Pax 3, I pretty much only used one mode because I didn't like to go in and change it all the time. I had it set on my efficiency mode at the lowest temp, and I would just ride that out. So I think that people who like the Pax are really going to like how easy it is to get totally different lanes out of this thing and not just get slightly different. They're, they're really different. So well done on that. Uh, this thing is uh, 250 bucks. Um, you get a $15 gift card, a tight vac. And did you get a four piece grinder with this too? It looks, that's in the notes. So uh, you get a lot of stuff with this. Um, it comes in Sage, uh, Onyx, Elderberry, and Periwinkle. It's kind of like a red wine, a pretty blue, and then a black and silver. Um, and that's kind of that's kind of the scoop on this bad boy. Uh, I did compare it to the PAX 3 a little bit. And I will say this, if if you if you're not worried about the ease of use, if you're like me and you kind of like to tinker and like to like to play around and, and and play with different stuff and 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 try the different settings, I would probably get the Pax Three um, while it's still available. I don't know how long they'll keep it out, but uh, it's 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 cheaper now. It's like two hundred bucks. Comes with all the same goodies, uh, but it has all that all that that width of structure and and all the all the bells and whistles and knobs and levers that you can pull if you like that. Um, if you don't, this really does, the PAX Plus really does just kind of, it just goes right into where most people would have gone. So I think did a good job of, of nailing what a lot of people are going to like. Um, how are we doing in the chat here, man? You guys good? I'm about to move over to the next vape. You guys doing good? Checking you out. What's up, Kevin? What's up, Ninja Owl? You guys are talking in there. All right. So um, that's the plus, dude. I would I would probably grab this instead of the three because it's easier to use. I'm really starting after after running a lot of bowls through this thing. I I think I would use this more than the three because I, it's easier to flip through the different modes and and I do like that. So I'm gonna give them props on that. Uh, programmed vaping. Uh, not a lot of people doing that. I mean, Da Vinci does, but it's more of a straight line, not necessarily watching and, and adjusting and bobbing and weaving based on what you do like this one does. All right. Uh, what I do want you to know is that for the PAX Plus, all of your old PAX 2 and 3 accessories work with this. They're all the same. No problem. Not so with the Mini, and let me show you why. <clears throat> With the mini, let's unbox this bad boy. I'll show you it's the same thing. Info on the back, picture on the front. Uh, looks like I slid it out this way. Another brown box. Only one side to play with this time. We'll pull out the vape. Set it over here. Open it up. And underneath, we have two little boxes and uh, instructions. Uh, one box is labeled charger and has the same charger I showed you before. And the other one is the accessory kit. It has the wire brush, the raised mouthpiece, 
Yeah, that's it. There you go. That's what you get with it. So those are the, those are the accessories you get. So you don't get the concentrate, you don't get the half pack, and you don't get the um, the multi tool. Um, that's okay. Turns out the half pack and concentrate lid don't work with it anyhow. I'll get to that in a second. The multi tool does though, and you can get one um, if you're going to get a multi tool for the for the Pax Mini. Um, the the new one is different it's 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 a little shorter and curved on the end and it's probably curved because that's better for the screen i'm just going to say i like the older one a little better because this spine goes all the way down and when i pack the oven it when this spine comes out the silicone gets a little little flexy whereas when this is in there it's nice and stiff and i thought this one was a a better mate to the to the silicone than the newer one. So if you're going to buy one for the mini, um, don't be disappointed if, if, if you get the older one. I, I like it better. So anyhow, let's get a little camera action out here. See what I can show you. Like, uh, ooh, that's bright. What happened? Got to be that bright. Pax Mini right here. How do you know it's the mini? Because it's that much shorter. <laughs> that's it dude like that is the difference backs pretty much the same ovens the same i mean your lids the same mouthpiece the same when i open i opened up the mini before the plus i did not think it was smaller it's it's just a little bit but i i really think that they didn't make it smaller to make it smaller like i don't think that was their intent was we need a smaller vape i think they made it smaller just because they could because watch what happens down here on this end. What's the easiest way to make your vape smaller? Cut the oven size way down. So we got the plus here and the mini here. And you can see the difference in the depth of those ovens. A plus oven is huge. So it when I when I took little like sticks, you know, put those in there and kind of measured how deep they were. The the plus oven over here felt about twice as deep as the mini oven, so it's, it's about twice as big. But then when I started to pack and measure loads, uh, this one came in at just over a half a gram, so 0.54, and this one came in at 0.17, which is more like what you'd get out of a Planet of Apes one or something like that. So uh, this was about a third the size of this when I used it. So considerably smaller oven. Uh, as far as differences, what that means is that now that you have a smaller oven, your concentrate lid ain't gonna work so forget that it also means the half pack lid does fit but i tried it and you can't fit anything in there without this lid starting to poke out a little bit and then you've lose, lost performance so i i did though i put just a sprinkling of herbs in one corner and another in the other corner and i got just enough in there to where this would go in and shut all the way and i barely got any vapor out of it so i consider this of no use with the pax mini so that's why they didn't include them and then um what else was i going to show you about that you see the differences there it'll come up uh the the loading funnel works very well still with this fits right on in there so cool man it it what what's great about it is it it, it <laughs> you got a huge target look at your target is right there when you load this thing and you got to get it off the ledges and into the oven anything that's up in here in this ledge ain't going to cook it's all going to be down there so so as you throw herbs in here they get in that ledge and then you got to scrape them over and and push them down and then they and you just it's a, it's it's a continual process. Screw that. Put this in there. Now everything you throw in goes straight into the packs. Um, no more scraping off the ledges. And then all I do is take this this packs tool and just mash it really good. And you just you can I mean you can go at it, man. It doesn't matter how tightly you pack this thing. You can pack more in it than I did if you really go at it. I used a tight pack, but I wasn't gonna you know make it all like concrete or nothing. So anyhow. That's how you pack with that, and off you go. There, uh, the this one. There's one temperature, one profile, and that's it. There is no hold the button in and get some options. If you do that, when you let go, it turns off. So it is an on and off only. This is um, the temperature profile, and this one felt like a combination, like in between two and three 
or in between efficiency and flavor on the plus. I felt like it was like a two and a half. Um, started out a little hotter, ended a little uh, than two, and ended a little lower than three. So I don't have any confirmation from PAX on their programming on it, but this feels like a very middle of the road, like, you know, as far as it's in lane two and three when you're riding with this one. I want to show you anything else close up on that. Uh, no, not really. That's probably it. Just that, um, you know, you take the, the mouthpiece out, your your uh, water pipe adapters will still work with both of these vapes. Anything that hits the mouthpiece end will still work the same. Um, it's the it's the ovens that kind of change things up. And then if you bought the odor caps that go on here, those also fit this vape as well. They're always a little tight, otherwise they wouldn't work real well. So you got to get it on there just right. And once you get them on, you squeeze them. Those keep the odor in. They're pretty dope. Uh, it's about most of the stuff I wanted to show you as far as cross compatibility and all. Let me uh, get you back up here. So this one, this one is really interesting. The PAX, the PAX Mini, because it's 150 bucks and it is a one trick pony. It just does one thing, but it does it really well. And the battery life was pretty impressive on it. Like at first I thought I was going to compare this to the Da Vinci Micro, uh, which is another real small vape, but that one had horrible battery life. I got about 75 minutes out of the PAX Plus, and that translated into 10 sessions. Because this has a smaller oven, my sessions were a minute and a half to two minutes shorter every time. Um, I ended up getting 80 minutes out of this. It's about the same battery life time-wise, but I got five more sessions out of it because of the smaller oven and shorter sessions. So I went through 15 ovens before this thing crashed on me. That's a lot uh for a portable vape so i think they pretty much did a good job of that but this vape wasn't going to be for me i'm a heavy user i have a high tolerance or a large appetite and the bigger ovens satisfy me a little more so i was trying to figure out who, who'd really dig this vape so i shared it with some people and uh, i got some really good feedback from a friend of mine who um comes over he's he's kind of a light user um doesn't vape a whole lot uh, when he does, tries to tries to get just enough. And uh, when he comes over to vape with me, we're usually dabbing, and I know that's strong. I feel bad. I'm like, breaking out the rig. And he will come in and take about a third lung full or no more than a half full off of the dab rig. And then he's good for a couple hours or the night. If we go really early in the night, then maybe later on another one. But that's about it uh, for this guy. So I thought, hmm, that guy's got a low tolerance. I've got a high tolerance. I found a place for this for me, but what does he think? I let him use it. He really liked it. Uh, I put it on flavor mode, the uh, experience mode three, had it on there. And with, with his um, tolerance or appetite or however you want to call, you know, how much we want out of our herbs at his level of consumption, it took about two hits off this. And turned it off and felt great. It's like, that's all I needed. And he was able to come back to it later. Didn't taste as good, but the herbs were still there and you can take more hits. Uh, so that was that was, that was was good for him. And I'm like, okay, that's great. But I knew that this one didn't quite hit as strong. Because A, it's that, 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 this temperature is below the third lane on this vape. And this vape holds two to three times as much herb. So, okay, cool. Let's try something with even less herb at a slightly lower temperature and no way to change it. See? And I let him use this one. And he came back and said, I like that one too. He could tell it was lighter. Uh, it took he, he took down the whole bowl and to get to about the same place he did to get about two hits off of this full bowl or off of our half um, concentrate hit. So that's an idea of what you can get for tolerance level. So if you're um, a beginner to vaporizing uh, and, are, and, and are really kind of confused by all the temperatures and packs, uh, the different ways to pack vapes and how long you're supposed to hit them. And if that's all just confusing, I'd really just rather just vape. Then this one is easy. All you do is pack it, push the button and hit it. There is no thing else to do with this vape. That's all you can do. So you just open it, put your herb in there, push the button and 20 seconds, the lights change to a different color and you're off to the races and you'll get a, a really nice session. If, you're, if your tolerance is, is to the point where you don't need more than a couple hits or, or um, 
maybe just one small little bowl and and you're not you're not you're not using dry herbs to the point where you're gonna raise your tolerance <laughs> smoking nice I was really stoked to hear my buddy say he really liked that he really liked this one um so if you can spring for the extra hundred there's a lot of extra options and and uh as far as that you can do concentrates in the half pack and the four different temps uh but anyhow I was stoked to hear that he definitely thought, yeah, I could I could use that every time. It's very easy for him to just use it and set it down and pick it up and use it and set it down and, and not worry about it. And I'm going to tell you why now, because these things, uh, packs since the two, packs two, three plus and mini, um, I'll use what I think is the best session monitor or auto shut off timer or whatever you want to call it that shuts the vape down when it thinks you're done. I got the best one I've, I've seen. Um, it has, a, it has an accelerometer inside, which means that it, it knows when you're moving it. So if you move it, you're either holding it or using it or passing it or so. So when, when it's moving, it knows you're using it and it keeps on trucking. Uh, it also has lip sensors up in here. I don't understand that because to me, it looks like a piece of metal and a piece of silicone. I don't understand the lip sensing, sensing technology, but I confirmed it. Uh, it works. If you, if, when you, when you turn it on, if, if you turn it on and don't hit it, or in other words, you set it down and wait, after 60 to 90 seconds of inactivity, it's going to go into standby mode. The lights will turn blue, and they'll start doing this thing telling you it's in standby. Basically, it turns off the heater and just chilling out to see if you're going to come back. And then after another full minute, it just turns off. So that's mostly to conserve battery. It still kind of cooks your herbs as the as the oven slowly cools down, and it does save some 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 of your bowl but for the most part that that's more about battery for me but the point is it's watching you man like it's not timing the session and going at five minutes we're done so you better be done too this vape doesn't do that this vape watches you and when you stop using it, it shuts down i love that it's never shut down before i was ready now that buddy of mine who doesn't use much i told you um he would take a hit set it down go about his business and come back. And it was in standby. And I was like, oh yeah, that's right. Standby. Uh, I never hit standby in normal use for me because I'm just going, I'm going to town and finishing that bowl. So I thought it was really nice to be able to just leisurely pull this out and just go to town for seven, even I had some 10 minute sessions where I just wasn't even thinking about anything. I was just enjoying not having to think and let it, let it tweak the ride all the way to the end. You don't have to temp step, temp step with these vapes. If you're somebody like me who likes to start at a lower temperature and then bump the temp up as you go to finish the bowl, this does it for you and it watches you and, and does it in time. So I'm, I'm pretty impressed with those session timers. There's some pretty cool tech in there. I dig that. Um, the mini here, what do I need to tell you about that? Uh, it's 150 bucks. You can still get these before Christmas. Um, this one comes with a $10 gift card and the tight vac and, and the grinder. If, if we're doing the grinder, it was a time when we weren't, I always get confused about the grinders. Don't shoot me if it doesn't have a grinder, um, confirm when you order what it comes with, but that's the deal there. Um, so how are we doing here? We're doing right on time. Yeah. All right. I'm not going to get into a whole lot of vape comparison here. Um, I'll tell you right now, uh, I was going to compare it to the one and the V3 pro both the POTV versions because I've compared these two vapes before and they're real similar and I like them. And I've also compared these two vapes before and they're real different and I like them. And I pretty much gave the nod to the POTV one for vapor quality. I think the POTV one and the V3 Pro, uh, the, taste is, the taste is better from beginning to end. Um, if you are somebody who has a, a low tolerance and you're just gonna take a few hits and turn it off, then these vaporizers will preserve that that chamber and your herbs will be better on the second run than they will on these conduction vaporizers. So, um, otherwise, uh, these are a lot cheaper, 100 and 109 dollars, 99 and 109 versus 150 and 250. So I still think that uh, for the budget shopper or for someone who's really kind of getting in, these are these are my favorite vapes to start at. Where I would make the exception is for someone who doesn't want to fiddle with settings. Excuse me. These are easy to use, but they're not a one click and start to hit. They're a triple click. Um, when it gets to temperature, you're good to go, but you can change the temperature, but it's not like you can just 
oh, I want a lighter session and, and go right into it and have it temp for you, it, it stays at that temperature. So if you wanted to temp step, you would do it manually. Um, if you wanted to raise the temperature, you would do it manually and hold the button in and wait. Uh, the same with this one. This one also has on-demand mode, which is dope. But that's, again, another setting that you've got to just screw around with. So um, I like messing around with settings because I like to play and I like to I, I like a huge playground. But for those who are confused or don't want it or don't need it, these make a real nice tight playground that's, that, that's fun to play in. But 150, 250 versus 99 and 109. So think that one through. Otherwise, the shape is obviously different. I mean, these Pax Vapes are as small as you get. These are shorter, this one is, but it's twice as wide. This one's taller all the way around. So it's really hard to beat these in your pocket. These, not only that, but there's no glass. So they're a little more durable. I don't worry about breaking them. I've never broken one of these stems in my pocket, but there is no glass or ceramic to break with the packs. So those, those are some of the differences there. Um, yeah, these kind of come back into play now, man. Like the packs two and three, for me, compared to these are, I was pretty much recommending these every time. Um, with the Pax Plus and Mini, I still would prefer these for the for the overall vapor experience. But when it comes into just easy, this, these are easy, man. They're easier, so they're kind of they're kind of going into a new area that we need to improve in, which is making these things easy. People don't really need to know about temperatures. You know, you could just tell them cloudy or flavorful and go from there. You know, we don't even know the temperatures. So I like what they're doing here. I, I think as a whole, we need to make vaporizing uh, more accessible, easier to understand and use and get what you want. And so it's going to be very easy with these. But uh, anyhow, these are a little different. These are more convection slash hybrid vapes. The Solo 2 uh, comes in uh, cheaper as well. I think this is normally 130 30 or 40 or something. I think we had on sale for 120. It's, it's in that range. So it's cheaper than the PAX Mini and, and then considerably cheaper than the, than the PAX Plus. A lot bigger. Yeah. Um, also very much uh, a conduction vape with some convection. More like these in, their, in, in the way they run a bowl than these. Like with the Solo 2, the flavor is great. The glass stem does a great job of, 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 of just delivering nice light flavor the whole way through. Um, but if you leave it in there long enough, it'll it'll conduct in and get really dark and start to taste like these, even though it takes longer. Um, these never really quite get there. Three hour battery life is ridiculous on this thing. So uh, really, it, it's a lot bigger. It's a lot bigger and you got to carry around the separate glass stem. So if, if you want, again, easy in your pocket, these are the way to go. I never put the Solo 2 in my pocket. I never put the Solo 2 in my pocket. I don't. For me, it's not really pocketable because of this. I could, you know, put it in some some tubes, but now I've got two, and now I'm, I need a big pocket. So uh, that's really the difference here on that. And then, um, you know, another one that's that's kind of fun, the Vap Cap, Dynavap Vap Cap. This is the M. Uh, these things are cheap, what seventy five bucks, I think. Don't quote my prices on these because uh, I didn't look for that. But uh, these are totally different. These these go by fire. So you use a torch lighter to use a Vap Cap but they're considerably cheaper. They're fast, but then you're out in public with fire. You'd be careful with that. So there are other vapes you can get that are cheaper. There are other vapes maybe with, with better flavor. Um, I'm not sure there's a whole lot that does this package though. It's pretty, it's pretty tight uh, with the batteries, the size and those flavor modes. So anyhow, I'm pleasantly surprised by these guys. Uh, I don't, I, I'm, I'm not gonna, I personally won't use the PAX Mini for myself. If I was going to want to use one of these, I'm going to use the PAX Plus and I'm going to go either one or, or four as far as the lanes, whereas this was like 2.5, nowhere near what I was looking for. And it's got a smaller bowl. Um, so, But the PAX Plus is one that I'll use. So for those of you that um, do have larger appetites and appreciate a nice conduction oven at the end of the night or something that's real small and travels around real well uh, and is easy to share, this could fit the bill. The Mini for me wasn't, but I think the Mini is great for somebody with a smaller appetite, um, and, and for beginners and somebody wants it really easy, it's pretty, pretty hard to mess that up. So that's the scoop on those guys. I hope, I hope you got a lot out of this. I don't know. There's a lot uh, of people talking about these. So hopefully you were able to learn some new things you haven't heard elsewhere, but, uh, that's the packs, uh, plus and mini for you. And, um, now I'm going to, uh, give these two away. These are a plan of the vapes. Vapes love these things. 
we've worked on them hard, man. We really have uh, to get them just the way they are. Love the magnetic connections, the dimple glass stems. V3 Pro is a removable battery. And they both have really good vapor with smaller ovens. These ovens hold between a tenth and a sixth of a gram. So uh, that that's that's pretty small. I'm, I'm happy with what they do. Um, you guys, I'm going to give you a minute to get to your your uh, get to your uh, computers because now's when you want to start typing. Get to your computers. Um, let's see, where are we at here? Right about here. Okay, good. So get to the computer. Get ready to type in the chat. Yeah, Flynn Berger's got a big appetite. He knows what I'm talking about. And uh, let's see. I've got some questions for you. I forget what they were. Let me think through. Um, okay, yeah, I got you here. So uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go with... Um, some trivia for this. It's going to be PAX trivia, but I'm going to give you these. You with me? And what you'll do is you'll throw the answer in the chat. Um, it's not about being the first. So I'm going to pick a random number and and whoever gets that answer over here in that order is, is the winner. I'm looking through the uh, YouTube studio uh, chat, so it's different from yours. Don't worry about what yours or anybody else says. All that matters is what mine says, and it will be different from yours. So if I say 17 and you weren't 17 on mine, don't sweat it. Um, that's how it works. It'd be a lot of fun. So, uh, with the packs, uh, th with the packs plus this one right here, here's the question for you. I'm going to take the 19th correct answer today. 19. Hey, 19. We'll do the Steely Dan one today. Uh, the 19th person to tell me how many experience modes are on the packs plus. How many experience modes on the PAX, on the PAX Plus are there built in, on board, no app necessary, completely different vape experiences? How many of them on there? I'm waiting for the answers. I'm watching now, and we'll take the 19th. I'm pretty sure Radar is going to be the first. He always is. I think he lives next door. I'm not sure what's going on with that guy. Oh, nope, somebody else is. Okay, here they come. You guys have got the right. Uh, Paul, no, come on, Paul. That ain't right. Everybody's got it. Come on now. Lewis, sorry, man. <laughs> okay, I know we got 19 of them. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10, I said. 10 right there. 11, 12, 13. <laughs> Radar. Minus 10. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And that makes 19 right here. Sweet. I know this guy. Liam. Liam, what's up, man? I'm stoked. You got yourself a one, baby. Beauty one. Magnetic one, the new ones. I love it with the dimple glass stem. Congratulations, man. Let me write this down. Liam. Liam wins the one today. Liam. Right now, you know how this works, man. Here's my email. Send me an email right now with your shipping info. Oh, shoot. And what color you want. That is my email in the chat. And uh, let me put you over here so I don't forget. Hang on. Uh... Sweet Liam, way to go. Okay, cool. So now that's documented, it's official. Uh, let me see now, Liam, tell me you tell me you heard about this. I'm, I'm, I'm just catching up here now. So, uh, all right, cool, Liam, you're in. Liam, do you want black or teal? And then do you want, uh, and then and give me your shipping info. So shipping info, black or teal, right there. Hook me up, you to man. <laughs> Congratulations, Liam. That's awesome, man. All right, sweet. We got one more though. We got one more here to give away. Um, let's see here. Oh, I got Lieutenant Jim Dangle out there. He's got his packs in rotation with your mighty. Nice, dude. What, uh, which packs you rocking there, Jim? Love to know. Let's see what else we got up here, man. Yeah, Jim, I'm with you. It is it is underrated. Um, and, I, you know, when, when it first came out, I was a hater, man, the original packs back in the day because I did not appreciate the marketing campaign and I didn't give the tech a chance. But um, I've used a lot of the packs over the last six years. Yeah. And uh, I do appreciate it, especially the nightcap, man. Every time Troy and I um, either uh, hit the Da Vinci vapes or the Pax vapes on the show, we get sleepy because we'll put it on the highest temp. But they're, they're legit. Like, you can pack that oven and you'll feel it. You feel it. You know what I'm saying? All right. So 
Uh, let's see here. Yeah, Brian, I'm not going to argue with you either on that, bro. I'd love to see the, the mini around a hundred bucks. 150 is most I would probably do, but anyhow, enough of that. This vape right here, the V3 Pro, another excellent vape that we've worked on for a while. Uh, let's see here. Mostly working the accessory attachment so that it'll take all of our normal glass that uh, comes with the POTV1. So if you have glass with the POTV1, it'll fit in here as well. And then, of course, the removal batteries. Love, love, love removal batteries. That way it didn't end up in a landfill when your battery goes bad. Most vapes, the first thing that goes is the... Most good vapes, the first thing that goes is the battery. So if you can just replace the battery and keep on going, you get years and years out of this thing. So I love that. Little Oven, about the same size as the One. I use uh, the One dosing capsules fit in here. Uh, not vice versa because there is a hair difference and you don't want to put the bigger ones in the smaller ones. So don't put the V3 Pros in the One. But they do work the other way around here. Um, and then we've got all kinds of... Oh, dude, this... Can I show you these? I just love these little caddies that hold all the dosing capsules. These things here. And we've got them that you can you can hold uh, one that holds 32 capsules and one that holds 12 to 18. Got stacks and stacks of capsules. So if you like to have dosing capsules ready to roll and run around town and you want it, you can even have different different strains or you know old used and fresh or however you want to go about it. Uh, these caddies are cool. The type vac you're gonna get anyhow, right? So um why not add a caddy and some dosing capsules and give it a go? These things are dope. Anyhow, I just like those. <laughs> Every time I use these vapes, I think about those. All right, so anyhow, you guys out here in the chat, you ready? Okay, Jim's got the PAX-3 right on. So so Jim, just real quick, I mean, you, you the PAX-3 is in your rotation. Um, if you're like me, you probably drilled into one of the modes on your app and left it there. Uh, that's what I did. I don't know. You, you probably know what I'm talking about as far as it's, it can be a pain to dial in those lanes. Um, curious to know, you know, if you think that four distinct lanes that are on board is more attractive to you than using the app. I wonder if you're a tinkerer or if you'd rather have it easier. So anyhow, man, if you if you don't mind, love to know, man. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, Radar, the Curve Bubbler is my fave too. The Curve Bubbler attachment for this. Right here. Boom. Love that. And it fits the one. Looks real good on the one. Nice and low profile. Love that. That's the way to go. All right, so. All right, you ready? You're going to have to answer a PAX question to win the V3 Pro. But don't worry, you'll love the V3 Pro. <laughs> So let me put down here, this will be real quick. I'm going to get ahead of the game here. A V3 Pro winner. All right, here we go. We're running over. You guys are dope. I'm going to give you something here. All right, so this time, uh, let's take the 21st correct answer. There were plenty of answers over here. I'm not worried about that. Uh, the question is, it's a PAX mini question. How many experience modes are on this one? How many, how many heat profiles are we going to call them? How many on this vape? The PAX Mini, how many lanes does the PAX Mini give you to roll in? That's what I want you to know. All right. Roll them. Roll them. Oh, while you're, while you're throwing your answers down, here's a little tip for you on, on the PAX Mini. Um, okay, the answers are coming in. You, you don't get to change the temperature on this thing, but you can increase it a little bit by during the session... Uh, okay, that's enough. Beautiful. You guys are dope. Slowly um, draw a little slower and a little a little longer and it'll um, slower and longer and it'll 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 respond to your style with a little more temperature, get a little more clouds. So that was the one way I was able to mess with the mini and, and kind of try to try to lean it into the right side of the lane a little bit. <laughs> Still not getting out of that lane, but you're you're in the right side. Okay, beautiful. Ah, uh, yeah, the answer is one. You guys are dope. You're listening. Here we go. Let's get them. There's one, two, three, four. Oh, hang on a second here. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thanks, Jim. Jim's talking about how he uses lane three for the most part. So appreciate that, buddy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Radar is going negative again. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 
2021 right here. Let me write it down first because I, I don't want to sweat that. Okay, so we're at 2021. All right, congrats. The 21st right one on my screen is Jeff Salahub. Salahub, Salahub. Help me out with that one. Jeff Salahub, you win, man. Nice job. Congratulations. Uh, here's what you do. You send me an email right now because I know you're at your computer. And here's my email in the chat. It's jerry at planetofthevapes.com. And uh, I want to know your shipping information. Okay, shipping info. And then this vape comes in three colors. So you got to tell me what color you want. You can go with the original. Let me see. I, can, I can't see me right now. Here. The original straight up black, which is pretty damn sweet. Then they came out with a silver gradient to black. See how it's black on the bottom and then kind of fades to silver. So should, we should call this the fade to black because it fades to black. And then this blurple, which I think is my fave, as you can tell by the way I say it. I love the blurple. Anyhow, this is sweet. So, um, Jeff, man, congrats. Did you catch on? Yes. Okay, great. Jeff, uh, shoot me that email and pick your color. And we'll get those out of here, man. Typically, you guys um, have these by the time you see me again, uh, which lately has been every week or just about. I wasn't here last week. Sorry about that, guys. But um, anyhow, uh, as far as as far as the, um, the streams go, uh, we're going to see if we can get back here in, in the new year. Uh, this will be it for the holidays. Got a couple weeks left this year. So um, you guys, dude, have a great Christmas. Um, have an awesome uh, new year. And then uh, we'll try to catch up again on this channel uh, in January sometime. Um, as, but, uh, you know, if you really miss me between now and then, uh, I'm still going to be on Friday nights with Troy on Troy and Jerry. And actually, uh, not this Friday, but next Friday, Christmas Eve, Eve the 23rd on that show, we're going to give away a bunch of vapes, including these same ones, the the V uh, the V3 Pro and the Planet of the Vapes 1. Um if you're bumming, uh, if you didn't, if you didn't win these, uh, not this Friday, but next Friday, we're gonna we're gonna give them away. Then now it's not gonna be like this. Uh, you need to go there and enter into a contest that's going on now. It's an Instagram contest, but uh, lots of vapes for you to win, and these two are excellent. So really appreciate Planet of the Vapes supporting that uh, the Christmas giveaway to give away, help you guys with the holidays, and uh, that'll be a lot of fun. So you can catch me there for a couple of weeks. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you here in January sometime. And uh, thanks for playing, man. It was a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed the stream. I will catch you.